Hello everyone, I'm Le Yin from Civil Aviation University of China. The title of the paper is Source Code Vulnerability Detection Method with Multidimensional Representation. I will introduce the paper in the following aspects. Firstly, I will give an introdu introduction of the paper. Secondly, I will introduce the source code characterization method. Next, I will introduce the construction and the training of deep neural networks. Finally, I will discuss the experiments and the results and give a conclusion of this paper. At present, most of source code vulnerability detection methods only rely on the source code text information for representation representation, and the single dimension of representation leads to low efficiency. There are three common vulnerability detection methods, respectively based on static matching, code matrix, and deep learning. However, the above methods have low detection efficiency due to the single characterization dimension and the poor model fitting effect. The proposed source code vulnerability detection model consists the four part. Data pre-processing and data multi-dimensional multi representation, model building and the training, and the vulnerability detection, the main processing for, for the four parts of the vulnerability detection model are data pre-processing, data multi-dimensional multi multi representation, model construction and training, source code vulnerability detection. Data processing, cons pros pre processing consists of two steps, code slicing and label setting. The detection uh, granularity of the method is at the le function level, so the source code that needs to be characterized is sliced at the function level. Code slicing can separate this function code without empty lines and comments from Java files, and the, sp <laughs> the specific, specific uh, process of code slicing is as follows. Source code cleaning. In order to improve improve the information dense, density of source code and prevent useless information from being represented, represented, empty line and comments in the code are eliminated eliminated by string matching. Function slice to function slicing. Using Java static parsing tool Java Lang to parse Java source files, get all the function contains in the class and store them in the list. As for Y set labels, it is it is a typical binary binary classification problem to judge whether there are vulnerabilities in the source code functions. The neutral the narrow ne network designed for Vulnerability detection in this paper is, is a binary supervised learning model. So it is necessary to label the train date in the our date site. The function name has been labeled good or bad. A uh, character matching method is used to matching the tag in the function name. The function fragment marked good is labeled zero, and the function fragment marked bad is labeled to one. Then we characterized the proposed processed source code fragment. The first is the structure representation of of code. The programming language is a structure language, and the information in source code has a clear structure relationship. Therefore, the method of characterizing nature language does not fully characterize the, characterize the grammar and the semantics 
in the source code in order to get more practical source code characterized. The source code is char characterized by structured presentation method. The structured presentation method consists of, of the following three steps. Step one, using Java source code parents to Java land to, par to parse the code get the information of the node and edge of the AST and generate the AST based on the information of node and edge. Step 2. The depths first traverse and abstract syntax string to collect node information in turn. The result of the depths first traveling the AST transforms the train date into one dimensional text date. Step 3. Transforms one dimension text data into neural network in input. Since the input of neural network is vector date, it is necessary to further process one dimension text. Firstly, the text data is, seg is segmented, and then the word in all the text is counted to general a uh, document uh, dictionary. Finally, the vector representation of the text is generated based on the dictionary order. The second, the second dimension of the code representation is code matrix. As the purpose, the purpose of the this method is to detect the source code vulnerability at the function level, so needs to measure it at the code function level in order to make the data dependent deep learning. Deep learning method interact with the pure knowledge of security experts efficiently and makes the detection model more adaptive. It is necessary to define the code matrix ma manually. The code measurement processing is this master consisted of two steps. Step one, define, define matrix. This paper defines the matrix of code matrix and uh, the main matrix used in, in code matrix phrase the uh, child, ben, child amber and, uh, and the camber matrix. Compare with the traditional MC matrix, the health, health state matrix, the CK are specifically proposed for object oriented prog programming language, so they are more adapted to Java language. The specific matrix are shown in this table which contain information about the function and its class. Step two, code matrix. Code matrix use the code matrix tools. tools. Here is the specific quantity value of the matrix in this table. We construct a deep neural network to fit the extracted features. The neural network model constructed in our paper consists of three parts. One, neural network model based self-attention mechanics. Two, deep neural network. Three, support victim machine. The main structure of the neural network is shown in this, in this fig. The most important purpose of analyzing text data is to capture its long-term dependency, which is particularly critical in programming language, influenced by neutral network language grammar and human character ad editing habits. The time span of dependency in, in natural language is limited, but the time span of this dependency is programming language is not controlled. For example, the defined, 
variables and the functions may be called anywhere in the code. Therefore, SA mechanics is used to solve the dependency problem when detecting the source code structure text vulnerability. From above calculation process, SA can refle reflect the director interaction between each word and all those words in the document. Comparing long-term, long short-term memory or recently neural network needs to be calculated step by step in sequence to obtain the long distance interdependency in the text information. So SA, the SA captures the long distance dependency of text information better. Therefore, SA is more suitable for structured text feature learning tasks than traditional RN or LSTM. The SA based neural network constructed in this paper consists in of input layer, SA layer for for connector layer and output layer, in which the full connector layer consists of 128 neurons. Since the calculation in SA are all linear, the function of adding a fully connected layer is to improve the fitting ability of the non-layer characteristics of neural network to obtain to obtain the pro probability of vulnerability from text future. The sigmoid activity function is applied to the output of the full connection layer. The result of the code measure is sequence of number in which each element represents the specific value of the corresponding measures and there is no interdependency between the elements of the measures. Based on the above application scenarios, DNN can learn sequence in features in a short time than traditional ma machine learning algorithm. Therefore, DNN is used to learn the characteristic of, of code matrix and its structure is shown in, the, in this fig. The DNN constructed in our paper consists of input layer, two hidden layer, and the output layer. The number of neural in each hidden layer is 64. For the input code matrix, after fitting the code matrix characterizations, Resistance through two hidden layer, the output is mapping to zero to one, using the sigmoid function as the active activation function. DNA is chained with code matrix and uh, preset labels, and the prob probability of vulnerabilities in the corresponding source code can be output by entering code matrix into the DNN model after training. The so vulnerability detection model is constructed based on SA neural network learning text sequence features and the DNN learning code matrix features. After com completing the training of the above models, the two models can be applied to judge whether there are vulnerabilities in the code from the two dimension of text information and code measurement. In order to get more accurate vulnerability detection results, the output results of the two models needs to be combined. Therefore, this paper tasks are output of, of the above two models as a feature. So further classifies them using support victim machine to determine whether there are any vulnerability in the code. Finally, we experiment our method in the collected data site. The data site used in this paper is Julia T. 
test suit data set of national institute of standards and technology, which contains uh, to 28,881 Java fields of, of different types, CWE, because the method based on deep learning needs a large amount of data. More than 100 test cases are selected in the, in the re research. To refer to the same mechanism is superior to other neural networks in capture structure text in long-term dependency. Four neural network models were used to compare the results. The four kinds of neural networks are CN, CN uh, long-term, long-short-term memory, binary direction, long-term, long-short-term memory. Gate re recycling, data recurrent unit. The above models are trained to use the training data, data site, and five models are run on the test data site to get the performance indicator of each model. The experiment results are shown in, the, in those figures. It can be seen that the performer of assay-based neural network is relatively stable in the face of different vulnerability types. In conclusion, the assay-based neural network can fully fit the relationship between structured text and vulnerability, and is more suitable for vulnerability detection tasks based on text structured representation than other neural networks. For the characteristics of code matrix, a vulnerability detection model based DNA is constructed. The experiment result on test data are shown in table. The experiment results show that code matrix based detection method has a high detection accuracy and a low first positive rate, but the first negative rate is very high. For example, under the primary set, the detection accuracy of CWE129 is 81.9%. Uh, the first negative rate is 69.09%. It shows that the code matrix representation method is not efficiently in characterizing code with vulnerability, resulting in deviation in test results. It can be seen that the core gain representation is only suitable for rough judge of source code vulnerability and cannot detect source code vulnerability accuracy. So code metrics can judge the health of your code to some extent, but relying solely on code metrics does not adapt adequately characterize vulnerability code. Finally, we compare our method with other three exciting methods. We can see that the average average accuracy of code metric based method structure representation based method and uh, Oculus for detection different vulnerability is 85.75% and 96.07% and 92.118% pre pre respectively. The average accuracy of this method for detecting different vulnerability is 97.96%, which is higher than other three methods.
and in order to improve, in order to further improve our accuracy of source code. That's all. Thank you.